Mm, this is YouTube Joseph WM. Welcome with prehistoric floor Triassic. May we begin your so let's begin. So in this episode, we're talking about the dawn of the age of dinosaurs. Oh, before no dinosaurs were around at this time, but they didn't take over yet. So this is like two hundred million years ago. Two hundred around there, um, and then um. Here's Coelophysis, one of the earliest dinosaurs. Hold on. Um, so, um, the, um, Coelophysis, uh, I think it was like three, two or three feet tall, I'm not exactly sure. But it was small. It was prey for the, not this, sorry, for the, um, the rat, Suki is like, the Sukians like post the Sukus. Which was an early crocodile, so I just ignore that. Crocodile or relative that. It was a Rausuki and lived in the late Triassic and was like, um, nine and three quarters to fifteen feet long or four to, or three to four point six meters long and lived in the U.S. Yeah, over in the U.S. And then Theophysis probably ate stuff like fish or scavenge. On, I'm not sure exactly. Mm. Or, or, yeah, it did hunt large at meat. Let's just say it ate meat, in short. In the, but it was an early s dinosaur. It wasn't the top of the food chain. And then there's, um... And then there's, the, um... Cynodon. Or our ancestors from this time, like... I don't know what species... Some unknown Cynodon. And then there's, um... And then there's, hold on, sorry. And then it's not Phyraxodon, this is too long after Phyraxodon. And then there's, um, well, it could be a Magordodon or something like that. But it's, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just pretend it is, even though that's not the right one. And then, um, Magordodon was a synapse that lived in. In the late Triassic to early Jurassic, like three and a half inches or nine centimeters long, lived in the U.S., China, and Europe. And then there's um, here's Placerius, which was like, it was, it was lived in the group. It was in the group synapse. It lived in the late Triassic. It was like six and a half to eleven and a half feet long, or two to three point five meters. Lived in the U.S. And now the plants. This. This plant is like it's Pluma. It was a lyophyte. lived in the Triassic. It was six and a half meters or oh, six and a half feet or two meters high and lived worldwide. And then there's um. And then there's a Dicorichium, which was a um. Lived in a. Which was a coral sperm or something like cortosperm. Something like that. Lived in the late Triassic. Oh, in the Triassic, it just says. These are both plants are in the Triassic. In case I said late Triassic earlier for the first one by mistake. And was like one. Oh, hold on. Uh, 13 to 98 feet tall, 4 to 30 meters high. I meant not tall. That's different, but that's a topic for another time, the difference. Lived in the southern hemisphere. Well, I said, yeah, so this is kind of out of place, but. It, yeah, but it's still possible that it was Pangea, so everyone lived ev everything, everyone and everything lived everywhere. And then there's, um. And then there's, um. Other plants like. Another plant like, um. Not like the, um, the, um, the which is, um, this thing, I believe. Yep, it is a Belguca, um, lived from the Triassic to Jurassic it was a ginkgo, lived worldwide, and was up to 
these were up to 16 inches or 15 centimeters. So it doesn't say how big the tree was as a whole. And then, um, no, it was a ginkgo, no, this is a no, that's not it. No, it, no, this is not a, but that, this is a, a no, this is probably the plant I'm talking about. This is a, um, sax, this is a, a staxis, which, oh, staxotaxis, stachotaxis, something like that. Which is, a uh, carnifer lived in the early Trias, late Triassic to early Jurassic, 33 feet or 10 meters high, and lived in the northern hemisphere. But again, because it was Pangaea, they could have been all over the globe on land in the southern hemisphere too. Alright, now comes a mass extinction. Lava spews them from a type of volcanic or tectonic activity or geologic activity known as a large igneous providence. This one known as the Central Magmatic Atlantic Providence or CAMP for short where North America and Africa where the Americas pull away from Africa and Europe. Pangaea breaks up. Lava spews Toxic is toxic get in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Temperatures um go up. Oxygen levels go down. The earth turns red. The oceans stagnate and acidify. And and fires break out. And acid rain, all that. And it's basically mass extinction. And of these organisms, Placerius are wiped out. Or with the post but our ancestor, the Megordon, and the Coelophysis survive, along with some of these plants. No, this survives. This, no, this doesn't. This survive. No, it doesn't. My bad. I'm looking. And then, um, so I'm not sure about, oh yes it does. Alright, thank you for watching, be sure to like, comment, subscribe as always, bye bye.